Welcome to Biosumi friends. So today we'll learn about optimal foraging theory. Now optimal foraging theory is actually a phenomenon of behavior biology or you can say at ecological perspective. Now forage means actually search or detect. Okay. Searching or foraging for foods. For animals, foraging actually involves a balance between the food's energy content and the cost of obtaining it. Okay. In short, you can say that animals have a tendency uh, to feed on prey that maximize their net energy intake per unit of foraging time. Okay, now the costs and benefits of the foraging behavior suggest that the, these behaviors have been shaped by natural selection over time. Now, foraging behavior can actually directly influence the energy intake of the forager and individual fitness. So, this is the foraging. Now, this optimal foraging theory or in short OFT actually addresses the behavioral choices that enhance the rate of energy intake of the forager. Okay, because the food of food availability can be varied uh, due to differences in local conditions, right? Uh, for example, some area may have a higher food availability than others, right? Or uh, some food items may be easier to obtain than others. Maybe that can uh, be in abundant in some area, okay? Or that those are very easy or easier to detect and capture. So this can be some points, right? Now, according to this theory, that's optimal foraging theory. Natural selection will favor individuals whose foraging behavior uh, is as energetically efficient as possible. Okay, because the tendency will be, uh, that's why this is called optimal. The tendency will be having the most economic and efficient strategy. Okay, you have to balance your energy gain and consumption. So that's why it can be called as optimal, right? So here, uh, the profitability of the food item, we can uh, see uh, through a mathematical term. So that is P is equal to E by T. Now, what are P, E and T? So P is the profitability as I was, I was saying. E is the net energy value of the food and T is the time invested in obtaining and processing the food. Okay, so the net energy here means the energy you gain minus the energy invested in obtaining and processing the food, right? Suppose an animal is foraging optimally and has a choice between two equally abundant food items. So where should E or C go? It will go for the higher T. Okay, so this is the idea of it's the main idea of optimal foraging theory or OFT. So from this, here we can have some points regarding this optimal foraging theory like let's have the first point as energy maximization. Okay, so in the previous slide, uh, you have watched it that P is equal to E by T, right? And E is the net energy. Net energy means the energy gained minus the energy invested. So uh, if if an animal has to go for the higher T and to have the higher T, the E must be higher, right? That's the, the more P will be, the more E will be, the E has to be, right? So, E is higher, means P is higher in short, that is the energy maximization, right? So, here you can see I have written it here that animals are assumed to forage in a way that maximizes their net energy gain because with this, uh, I mean, with having the most more P, you will have the more P and that is the optimal value or the optimal conditions uh, to choose for a prey, right? So this means they should seek a maximize ratio of benefits such as energy gain from food obviously to costs. Okay, cost means here the time and energy spent, okay, to forage or to capture and to process the food, right? So E has to be higher as you have seen in the previous slide that P is equal to E by T. So in short, E has to be higher to have the P higher. So the next point is, let's come to the next point that is marginal value theorem. Now, this is very important. This theorem actually yields the giving up time. Okay, giving up time because when an, when an organism uh, should leave a patch that is exploiting. Okay, so giving up time when it has to give up Here you can see I have written it here that this is the central concept in OFT. OFT means optimal foraging theory uh, It suggests that an animal should leave a patch 
patch means the localized food source okay uh, and when the rate of energy gain diminishes to the average rate of the rate, rate for the entire habitat that is that means the giving up time okay like an organism in some point of time in some point of point of time has to leave its patch that is exploiting okay and this is the marginal value theorem uh, regarding this optimal foraging theory okay it has to move to a new patch when the current patch is no longer as profitable obviously they will have some food but that will not be profitable because i have said earlier that it has to satisfy the most economic and efficient strategy to balance the energy gain and uh, consumption right so so for the profit it has to give up the previous patch and go for a new one that is the marginal value theorem so coming to the third point that is central place of foraging okay now this is introduced by audience and pearson in 1970s actually describes the situation in which forager must sorry in which forager must bring the item to capture uh, bring the item it captures to a given location the central place okay this is the central place like for birds here you can see uh, it has to return to its nest uh, with its food right with its prey to feed its young ones and to feed itself also remember in the second slide we have talked about p is equal to e by t right now p is higher when e is higher that is true we have seen in energy maximization slide the p can be higher when t is lower that is also true right and t is the time invested in obtaining and processing the food so if the bird is investing less time in obtaining and processing the food to feed itself and to food to feed it to feed its young ones so it will be energetically and economically efficient right so it will satisfy the optimal foraging theory so these are some points about optimal foraging theory there are some other points too we will discuss in the next part of the video so till then i think you have understood the video and let's have the second part in in come in some days okay so thank you